cobbler in Austin, Texas. So we found a location and we're gonna go test it out and rate it. Stay tuned. Girl, the car this way. <laughs> After the first place wasn't open and we drove what? 20 minutes? Yes. 20 minutes? We found a new spot, but it's full of like the other man, not the brother man. But this place is called Styles? Styles P. Barbecue. Mm -hmm. Styles P, the rapper. Yes. We're gonna We're see gonna, what they hitting for. We're gonna check it out and let you guys know. Yeah, she said. Must be it. It gotta be it. So I wait here patiently for her food and she play with ridiculous IG filters. We decided to go with the pickup uh, option and place our order in line and just, you know, wait for the little pickup. Okay. I eat in the car for real. I'm gonna find you. So I put she messed up and ordered at the wrong location. We have to drive like 40 minutes to the next one. We finally here. Uh, well, she ain't open hers up, but yeah. We here, we got my cobbler. Okay. Okay. The bris it's a brisket. Huh? With them funky ribs. One out of ten, what you giving them? A five. Five. The ribs were good. The flavor was good. It little, had a little kick to it. The brisket was good too. The mac and cheese was absolutely no good at all. There's no flavor to it. Not creamy enough. I like my stuff creamy. Uh, and then I got the beans. The beans were, were fine. Me, myself, and I will give them a six. Like she said, the meat was smacking. The macaroni and cheese has zero flavor, but that's expected usually. Uh, the potato salad was definitely like a nine out of 10. Well, I'll get like an eight out of 10. And then the peach cobbler was like wet, like soggy type made. I don't like that. So, Matter of fact, I got dropped into a five just because of that, because that's what I really came for. That concludes today, folks.